you see these videos all the time on YouTube or even books, right? Why you should believe in yourself. Why ways to believe in yourself, love yourself, etc. Now, I have a problem with this and I'll tell you exactly why. Believing in yourself is so much more simpler than all these gurus tell you. You know, growing up, I, I would never really have a lot of belief in myself. And I think a lot of people can relate. When we're young, even you know, in your 20s, you don't believe in yourself. And there's a reason why, which I'm going to get into next. But here's the thing. I always thought that there's a magic thing or one more thing I need to learn or read that will help me to believe in myself better. And you know, belief is very important. I made out a video on that, on how you can change your beliefs and that will change your life. But as I said, I always thought that there was this magical thing that I will learn and it'll make make me believe in myself better and I will no longer need anything else and now that I have this belief in myself I'm all set up and now I can take all the action in the world and be successful and do everything right most people believe that they need this sort of belief in themselves first to take action and this is where most people go wrong and where I honestly went wrong because I was waiting for this magical thing to learn to honestly have this sense of belief in myself right which I, I lacked but having this mindset that you need this sense of belief first will set you up for failure, right? Because at the end of the day, you're going to productively procrastinate, right? You're going to read a million books on beliefs and how to believe better. And, and, you know, having this belief is important. Like, yes, it's important. But at the end of the day, you're productively procrastinating. You're reading another book. You're learning this new hack to believe in yourself and, you know, love yourself forever. And you're not actually doing what you need to do, the action that you need to take. You're finding yourself but you still haven't taken that action in your business with your goals and your passions. So essentially you feel like you're moving because you're learning, but you're still stuck. You're still the same person and you're still in the same place. So what is actually the sequence, right? So instead of belief comes first and then action comes second, it's action comes first and then belief in yourself comes second. And this is something I realized and something that I didn't know, obviously, a few years ago. And it is life changing because let me give you an example. When I first got into working out, it wasn't it didn't come from me, right? It actually came from my mom who saw me as a pretty skinny kid and she pushed me. She pushed me to work out and I did did not believe in myself, right? I had no belief whatsoever. I had no belief that I can get stronger. I had no belief that this will help me. I had zero beliefs, right? You can say literally nothing. I was forced to go, right? You know how, you know, some moms and parents, they force you to do stuff. So I was forced to go to the gym. But guess what? I didn't have any belief but I took action, or at least I was forced to take action, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I was forced to go to the gym to personal trainer. And guess what happened? I took action. And over time, I saw some results, right? I saw, okay, yeah, you know, I'm getting stronger, or this is actually fun. It's not that bad. And over time, I had this new sense of belief in myself. I had more confidence. I actually believed that, yes, I can get stronger. I could be bigger. You know, I, I think I, I got this. You know what? Maybe now I'm doing these new exercises. You know what? I think I could do six reps instead of three or 12 reps instead of eight this is exactly what happened to me and i'm speaking from experience thinking back like i honestly gained this new belief in myself that i didn't have before and this is proof in my life you know i'm speaking from personal experience that taking action first although this is you know action that was forced which is kind of funny again but taking action first will lead to belief in yourself so another example in my life is for example the youtube Right. So starting this journey, I told you many times how I had my first couple of videos with like under two to three views. Like it was just me like refreshing the page and maybe one person. So it was, it was just me basically. And yeah, I had no belief, but you know, I did it anyway. And over time through taking action, I started to have this belief in myself. Like, you know what? I could speak in front of the camera. At first it was weird. I felt like YouTube wasn't for me or why me out of everyone else? Why would I be successful? So obviously at first I didn't have a lot of belief, but I took action anyway because I had this goal in mind to spread this message, right? Of self-improvement. So I did it anyway. And over time I, I got this new sense of belief in myself that, you know what? I could speak in front of the camera. I could do this. I could teach other people. I could share my stories. I can learn and then teach it to other people. I can impact people. Now I have this sense of belief in myself and I couldn't have gotten here without taking action every single day. So speaking of beliefs, for example, today in the morning when I was planning this video, right? Scripting this video, writing it for you guys, I did not believe in myself much. I'll be honest with you. I didn't believe that I can do it. I kind of ran out of ideas for videos and I was, what do I do? What is the next video idea? 
But then I sat with myself and I'm like, this is the perfect time to just take action no matter what I believe in myself. Just do it anyway. The belief doesn't matter. The motivation doesn't matter. That comes second. And guess what? I opened Notion. I started writing the script for this video. I started planning it out. I started coming up with ideas. And then I got this new sense of belief back again, right? I was like, you know what? I got this. This is easy. Why was I overthinking it? Why was I trying to be a perfectionist with this video? It's not that hard. So my question to you is, are you waiting for belief? Are you waiting for the sense of feeling good, right? Of just this feeling that, you know, I got this. You don't need that is what I'm saying. You don't need that feeling of certainty, of belief. You need to go into that tunnel. Imagine a dark tunnel. You need to go into that and just go all in, right? And at the end of the day, come out of that tunnel and there's light at the end of the tunnel and it's fine. And it was fine. You took action. Now you have more motivation. Now you have more belief in yourself, more confidence, etc. But you need to go into that tunnel, that dark tunnel, right? Because I, we all go through dark tunnels every day. We need to do that. We need to constantly do that. Because if we don't, what is the fun in life? You need challenge. You need to take action. As a man, as a young man, you're incredibly valued on the action that you take right and we all take action every day whether it's playing video games that's a certain type of action right but we need to pick the right action and that is what's the most important thing and just a side note this is not me saying belief is not important or positive beliefs positive affirmations just believing in yourself is not important it's not me saying that at all it's me telling you that most of the time people just wait for that they wait for that to come and it's not going to come you need to take action first but a person who takes both action and both has this positive thinking, positive beliefs in oneself is someone who is unbeatable, right? That is like the best combination, right? Having belief in yourself and taking action every single day. But we all know the world isn't perfect. And most of the time we just lose this feeling of belief in ourselves. So this is me coming to you and telling you that it's normal. It's fine. I also lose sometimes belief in myself and the action that I'm taking. It's not a bad thing, but it's just a reminder that no matter what you lose that feeling, you lose that belief, you have to take action. You have to come back to that action. So I hope this answered the question of if you need to believe in yourself. And the answer obviously is no. Go take action. Do what you've been procrastinating on. And I'll see you on the other side.